Hello everyone and welcome back to Warriors The Untold Tales and it has been a while since we've played this game you guys. It really really has and uh, yeah it's, it's, yeah we haven't played this game in I think over a year uh, and a lot of you guys have wanted to see it come back so we, here we are once again and you may notice that you recognize this cat. Uh, this is actually a cat we've met before but not in our previous Untold Tales series. So, this is Firefly, and yes, he is from the Cattails series. What is he doing here? Well, he kind of got carried away by the river and found himself here on the, the shores of River Clan territory. Uh, they were a little bit suspicious of him at first, but in the end, they ended up taking him in. And here he is in, um, in their territory. He's now considered to be a warrior of River Clan, but uh, he's definitely kind of looking for a way to get home. And uh, if he wants to be able to make it back to the world we know in the in the game Cattails, then uh, he's gonna have to complete some tasks. And uh, I'll talk more about that in a little bit and exactly how this specific task system is gonna work and uh, how it came to be. So it's New Leaf 7. Uh, we aren't going to find out about that just yet, but first things first, let's go ahead. We will talk to our leader and uh, first things first, we'll make sure we save the game. Uh, don't worry to, um, are we close enough? There we go. So, hello there, I'm Clearstar, leader of River Killian. I can, I, I'm your direct route to the bonus shop. If you'd like to visit the bonus shop, feel free. Oh, and I also handle matters, matters of saving your progress. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna save, and we're gonna just meet some of the different cats. So, there is Willowfur over here. Who, who are you? Welcome to the Den of the Medicine Cat. What can I help you with? I'll sell you some healing herbs for five reputation. They'll bring 20% of your health back, or if you'd like to help, feel free to talk to Mouse Pounce. She's usually very accepting of help. So we can leave. We're not gonna buy herbs right now. We're just kind of finding out <laughs> what's going on here. Let's talk to Mouse Pounce. So, hello, I'm Mouse Pounce, the Medicine Cat Apprentice. I could use your help. You see, one of the kids is in need of treatment, but I need the Horsetail plant to treat his wound properly. But the problem is, Horsetail grows mainly in Shadow Clan territory. I know it sounds dangerous, but could you go and collect some? It means a lot to me and the kit. Okay, well, that's a quest that'll give us some reputation, so we're gonna go ahead and take that quest. Um, we're just gonna meet everyone first off, so here's Hawkclaw. Hello there, I'm Elder Hawkclaw, and I keep track of the bonus coins around here. Perhaps you'd like to buy one. There are only 20 reputation points per, so we're not gonna buy one. We don't have enough for that, but that's good to know. Thrusher, I'm guessing, uh, manages the, um, oh, we probably gotta go to the front here. They, I forget they don't turn around. Uh, but probably the prey pile. So, oh hello, I'm Thrushier and I watch over the fresh kill pile. What's that? You want to know about the fresh kill pile? It's where we keep the clan's food store. For one reputation, you can eat from it. Or if you'd like to earn some reputation, drop a dead animal on the pile and it'll give you two reputation points. So that's good to know as well. This is where we can get food if we need it. And I believe if we go here and we buy food, it'll take away one reputation, but it'll restore our food. Yeah. And then here's Trainer Fairy Frost. So, hello, come to learn a new skill? Well, we don't have anything to learn just yet, but we will be leveling some of these up eventually. And, uh, well, I guess we do have um, the basic attack skill. We have a few levels of that, so we'll go ahead and leave. It's getting kind of late, but uh, let's see. I think, where is the area you sleep? Is that over here? If you go over here, you can, yeah, you can, you can sleep in a few hours. So let's finish meeting some of the other cats. So here's Shade Tooth. Shade Tooth? I think Shade Tooth. Uh, yeah, Shade Tooth. Oh, hey, so this is one of the marriageable NPCs, I think. Shade Lake, how's it going? That's uh, one of the male er marriageables. Uh, Wise Lake, if we can get closer. You have to get pretty close to them to talk. Hello. And I think Feather Fur over here is the other female. Hi. So we're not necessarily going to um, marry anyone here. We'll see. It depends on what a Firefly's story turns out to be. He's pretty focused on getting home right now. So, Deputy Coldfur, the gorge has always been a disputed area between us and Wind Clan. A patrol of Wind Clan cats is spotted by our scouts near the falls, whoever which is Wind Clan or which is River Clan property. Wind Clan is not per permitted to trespass. I've sent a patrol of cats up toward the fall. Join them if you wish. I'll pay you in reputation. So that's another quest we can take there. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep through the night, and we'll finish meeting the rest of the cats in the morning, and then we'll set out and try to complete some quests. Now, it is the eighth day of New Leaf, and, um, there's, I think, 
and looking. So on the 10th day, something special is going to happen, and uh, we will go uh, see that in a little bit here. Uh, so here's a guard. Today's a boring day. Haven't seen anything happen at all. So that is Jade Pelt and Silverstone. If anything interesting happens, I'll let you know. All right. And uh, I think we talked to everyone except for Streamtail and the kits. So let's go down here and see. So Streamtail, a warrior brought the kits a strange thing the other day. He called it an apple and said the ki and the kids said the kids said it was delicious. Perhaps you could find another one of these apples and bring it back for the kits. All right, we'll take another quest there. And then is the stone kit? I think your name is. Oop, can we talk to you? Can we talk to you? I don't think we can talk to to you. Clean kit? No. Or Gleam Kit. Gleam Kit, I think, is what it is. And I'm pretty sure to get out, we can just swim across. Yeah, which actually fits really well because Firefly was quite the swimmer. And, or, or well, I mean, he would have been. He, he would have known how to swim. And I don't think any of the other the clans in this game can. What is this? Oh, there is a mouse down there. And so I'm trying to remember the controls. That's not how we do it. If we go there, okay, yeah, you pounce just like that. What's this? I don't know what this is. I think it might be just a little hole in the ground. So we'll leave that alone and we'll kind of just explore our territory. So we're actually over here just above River Clan camp. And uh, one of our quests was actually to head out. Oh, we are thirsty too. Let's go back down real fast before we get uh, too thirsty. And I think, how do, how do we drink? Is it just, nope, how do we do that? <laughs> I don't remember how to drink water. Um. You know, um, give me a moment. Okay, so it's enter to drink water, but I think we might have to, oh, there, oh, we have to hold it down, right? Yeah, there we go. So our thirst is going up now. <laughs> I'm going to die of thirst just because I don't know how to drink the water in this game. But yeah, no, we're good. So we're going to kind of continue on and just explore around a little bit and uh, see if we can find, I think it was the gorge where we needed to, um, to help fight. And so I think we're gonna head up that way. And probably in the next, oh, yep, here, okay. So Wind Clan is here. We gotta fight these guys. We gotta fight these guys. They're gonna they're gonna do some damage. Are they all leaving? No, that's, that's our cats that are leaving, okay. We can probably take on a novice, possibly. <laughs> Maybe not two novices, though. All right, oh boy, we got lots of cats chasing us. I'm not, I haven't, I haven't played this game for a while there. Okay, we managed to injure one of them. Oh, Hillclaw is still here though. I don't know, are we gonna be able to fight you? All right, there we go. We're gonna try not to kill any cats if we can. They're just injured and uh, we don't really want to, uh, we, we, don't, we don't really want to kill anyone. We just want to, um, to fight them. So let's go back and complete that quest. And we should get some reputation for that. Oh yeah, we can just swim across, right? Oh, but we have to go in through the front there where there's nothing blocking us. So let's swim around here and we can go straight in this way. So we need to find an apple and we need some horsetail. We can probably do the horsetail next. And we needed to talk to, oh wait, the deputy's over here, right? Yes, Deputy Coldfur. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to where everyone is. So let's go ahead. Thunder Clan claims the Sunning Rocks as their own. Ha, those stones are the same that warmed the pelts of our ancestors and their ancestors, and Thunder Clan thinks they can just take it. I say otherwise, I've sent out some warriors to teach Thunder Clan a thing or two about who Sunning Rocks belongs to. If you fight with them, I'll reward you with reputation, but hurry. So we'll probably try and do that the quest the next day. So you can see we actually already did automatically get the reputation so you can tell when you've completed that quest but we're gonna head towards shadow clan territory and see if we can snag some horsetail and not get attacked hopefully so oh, there's like a little fire pit here that's kind of interesting that's actually something we can do because these guys really can't um they can't they can't get too close so we can kind of we can kind of use this to our advantage perhaps and uh just lurk in here and attack from here Oh, they still can reach us, though. So if we ever have to escape, we can just run into the water. We do need to eat as well. So I'm going to eat when we get back. And our health is getting a little bit low. Here's four trees. So I think this is a pretty safe area to cross the road. There's not really anything that shows up on that bend. Uh, or I should say the Thunder Path. That's what they call it. Uh, I should state I'm not a huge warriors person. It's not that I don't like it, I just never had time to read them all, and so I'm not super well versed in all the lore and uh, all the names and such not, so I might be a little, it might take me a little bit of getting used to. Um, 
But we got some horsetail now, so let's head back, and we should be able to bring that back to our medicine cat. Okay, there's cars crossing, but I think we're okay. I believe they call them monsters, actually. Oh, here's an apple, too. So that works out. And I think this is goldenrod? Yes, goldenrod. So there's even different healing plants here, too. Poor, poor Firefly is probably a little bit confused by all of these strange new things. But he's willing to do whatever it takes to get home. And at the beginning of next episode, we're going to make a little bit of a special journey. And uh, we're going to figure out just exactly what he has to do in order to make his way back. But for now, he just arrived. He's kind of just got to settle in. And um, I think we went too far. Oh, no, we didn't. We're, we're pretty close to being in the right spot. But, um... Yeah, so for now he's just got to settle in and kind of get used to the way of things around here. So we won't be doing that just now. Uh, I think it was Streamtail who wanted this. So if we go here, there we go. We can take another one. So the nursery looks so bland. I mean, there's moss and reeds, but I think it needs something more. I've seen some two legs with some pretty fancy and shiny looking things that they wore in their hands. If only one of them dropped near a road or path, that'd make the nursery look way better. If you find one, can you bring it here? So we need a shiny thing. Um, and we'll have to see if we can poke around by the thunder path for some of those. And we also needed some horse tail, right? Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's bring this back. Oh, no, that's not. Oh, okay. So learn the art of healing, gather knowledge of various herbs, become the medicine cat's assistant. This allows you to heal yourself with herbs you collect around the forest. To become the assistant, you must complete 30 medicine cat quests and pay 50 reputations. So we might be able to do that because then we can heal ourselves. But let's bring this back to Mouse Pounce. Um, oh, we have to bring back more, don't we? Oh, we probably needed a lot more. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't quite what I thought, because it doesn't show up as us completing- Oh! Oh no, I guess it just gave us the same quest again. That or it glitched a little bit. So what I should say about Untold Tales is that this actually is made by Falcon, the creator of Cat Tales. Um, but of course, this is uh, an older game, and it's actually Warrior Cats and not just uh, cats in general. And so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little bit of a crossover with this, because a lot of you guys have wanted me to come back to playing this game. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do that with Firefly here, since we haven't really gotten to see much about him lately. And uh, he's kind of been absent from our main series. So we're going to head back up here. I don't really... Oh, we need to go get some food, though. I don't really want to, um, like, I don't, I don't particularly at this point want to do a lot of fighting. We kind of need to upgrade our skills first, but let's, first things first, we're going to go buy some food because we have enough reputation to do that. So, Thrushier, okay, we can talk to, talk to you from the back as well, you just don't turn around. Alright, so it gives you two bars per time. It's definitely more worth it to feed yourself here, if possible. And yes, I know I kind of wasted a bar there, but I, we're going to be going pretty far away, and so I don't want to be hungry while we're out and about. Because uh, if you eat prey, you'll actually lose reputation. And so we don't want to, we don't want to, like, you'll lose two reputation. Um, okay, Dustpaw, I'm sorry, but we, we're going to have to take you out. You're, you're causing problems here. We're, we're, and this is just an apprentice, too. I feel kind of bad, but you probably shouldn't be wandering out and about anyway. All right, well, he'll be fine. I, I might, Whoa, okay, that's... No, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll probably be fine because they technically aren't, like, dead dead. They're not a gravestone or anything, so I'm sure the medicine cats will be able to heal them up. They just won't participate in the battle. Um... So, let's come over here. You never want to cross the road right by the edge, because that's a good way to get run over by a monster. Nope, I'm not dealing with that battle either. We're going the way of stealth right now. Uh, we're, we're not we're not in this for battles. We're, we're in this to, to find some herbs. And uh, it is New Leaf 9 today, so tomorrow is when something kind of special is going to happen here. Um, this isn't the camp, is it? Nope. Alright, we're up by the, the, the top area here. Oh, we can pick this up. And, um, oh yeah, that's right, there's uh, the fresh kill pile over here, or not fresh kill pile, the carrion place is what they call it, I believe. So, if we head over here, we might find some things in here? I don't know. Oh, there is something up here. Yeah, there's a mouse up here. But if we were to eat this while we're out and about, it first of all wouldn't restore as much food, and, oh, there's another one too, I just saw. But at first of all, it wouldn't restore as much food. And second of all, it, um, 
would cost more reputation, so it's better to bring this back. Oh, oh wait, I see a shiny thing. Okay, we're gonna try and go get that, but we're gonna be very careful about it. I'm just gonna inch my way over here. I'm gonna watch to see if any monsters appear, so they come out of the cave there. And, whoa, okay, we got it, though. <laughs> We're all right. We can head down this way. We're not going to do anything with that sign just yet, but uh, we'll, we'll, come, we'll come back to that later. So we can bring this shiny thing back and complete this quest. Holy moly, that's a veteran. I don't want to deal with that. <laughs> that. That's a recipe for disaster right there. So let's head back to the camp. It's about time. And uh, maybe, well, maybe we're not going to grab that feather just yet, but maybe in a little bit here, or may maybe, well, maybe as time goes on, we'll, we'll start to fight more. I just want to hone our skills a bit before we get to that point, because otherwise we're going to be in some trouble should we actually start uh, fighting. <laughs> so let's head down this way. We can make our way right back into camp. And first things first, we can go ahead and give this shiny thing to Streamtail here. So there we go. Uh, for whatever reason, the kids love to play with smooth stones like those found around the riverbanks, but they lost all the ones near the nursery. Perhaps you can bring one back for them to have. I'd appreciate it. Oh, that should be an easy quest because those are found right here in River Clan. Um, we can also bring this horse tail back to Mouse Pounce. So here we go. And uh, okay, we're looking for more horse tail, I guess. Um, I think we needed to bring back three, was what it was. And let's also bring these dead mouse. Um,. Wait, how do we deposit these, right? Um, we can... Oh, we drop it on the pile. Okay, so if we come over here, we drop it there. Yeah, that'll give us reputation. Okay. And then to heal up our own... Well, we're not going to go too far, so we'll get that once we're a little bit hungrier. And uh, we'll come back for that. But we've actually done pretty well with earning reputation. Um, it's not as difficult as I remembered it being... But uh, it might be a little bit more more interesting once we start adding in some other elements that I, I will introduce you guys to soon. And uh, so there's definitely more to this series than... Uh, now I'm, right now I just want to introduce you to the game itself. A lot of you guys probably remember the first series we did on this, and a lot of you guys have probably seen it before. Oh, we're not going to be ringing the bell to summon Ember, not this time. But a lot of you guys probably do remember the first time I played this game. Oh, there's another horse. And uh, a lot of you guys are probably just generally familiar with this game. Okay, so here's where we can start to find... Oh, there's a smooth stone right there, too, but we can't get it because of the, the cliff edge. Oh, and there is... What is that? That's Comfrey, I think. But, um... We can actually swim right across here, which is handy. Oh, wait, and there's a smooth stone there, so we'll actually just grab this one and head back. Uh, we can pick that... Whoa! We can pick that up. <laughs> we're gonna get attacked as we're as we're on our way, but it's actually about time to head back anyway, so that worked out. We'll fight in some of these battles later on. But let's bring this smooth stone back to Streamtail, and then we're probably gonna go ahead and wrap up the episode for the day, because it is getting to be that time again. Um... But, so yeah, this is Un Untold Tales. I hope you guys are as excited to be back to this series as I am. I definitely wanted to start playing this game again for a while now, but uh, we haven't totally had a... Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had as many good story ideas, and uh, we definitely still can go back to our original playthrough with Stormclaw, but uh, I, I don't know how much we have to pick up with that right now. We'll, we'll do that at a later time. But uh, we're going to go ahead and we will sleep through the night, and then the next day we're going to have some more uh, more exciting story uh, elements to get into. We'll be finding out our main quest and uh, what Firefly has to do if he ever wants to get home, but we kind of have to wait for it to get late enough to sleep. Um, but yeah, so I thought we'd try playing in a different clan because we've never really done that before. The last time we played entirely in Thunder Clan. And so maybe we'll start exploring this the other clans more in our different playthroughs here. Now, can you sleep after eight? Or is it nine? I think it's nine. Yeah, you can't sleep just yet, but we will go and uh, raise our thirst. Sleeping this game is really important because just like in Cattails, it will replenish your health. So you definitely want to make sure you do that and uh, it helps out a lot. But the next day, we're going to have uh, some exciting new things to check out, but for now, we're gonna go ahead and end off this episode here for today, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.